Hey everyone, Ava Pilot here, and I'm going to be playing Catalepsy, and this was developed by Irene Lang. You can find this over at itch.io, I have a little link in the description, you can all check it out. And, uh, why don't we just get into it? Three objects to find. I take it that's an object? Okay, I can't... How do you... Wait, I died. What? Mm hmm. Really quite sure. Mm hmm. Oh, it was supposed. To... Oh, what the? Okay, let's see what. The sheep used to be Gregory's buddy who puts him into bed, but all of a sudden he doesn't touch it anymore. He couldn't talk yet, but we could still see fear in his eyes. Made his house change the sheep toy too. It was supposed to be a normal shower for Gregory. After Mrs. Sullivan turned the tub water on, she went out of the bathroom and left Gregory there alone to answer a phone call from Mr. Sullivan. They argued too fiercely to notice that their little boy is slowly drowning because this duck blocked the outfall. It was already too late when Mrs. Sullivan returns. Can't get over. Gregory used to laugh a lot when he played with his favorite toy friend, Dobie. Like something funny was happening between them, but only he could see it. Maybe he saw things others don't. Whatever it was that he saw, it sure made him happy. He found all the objects. Now proceed to the next room. Yay! Ooh. As a private detective, Mr. Sullivan's signature look is a coat with this pair of glasses. He is a total workaholic, and his job made him a strong believer in science. He never believed in supernatural phenomena until he saw these strange things happen to both of his kids. He knew something was going to happen to them. He just didn't expect that day to come so soon. Okay. A book called The Garden of Forking Paths. This is Mrs. Sullivan's favorite book. It is about time and how sometimes many decisions we make can lead to different consequences in the futures. What the? Okay. After Gregory's death, Mrs. Sullivan started to have nightmares very often. She decided to use her family's old relic, the mirror, and try to scare away the evil spirit and paranormal atmosphere in the house. She thought it was working in the beginning, but it was not, and it hit and waited for the right moment to attack. Hey, I see a room over there. Key? Oh. Why is the key here? What does it unlock? Miss Sullivan probably wanted to hide something. But from who? From her family? Or from herself? Oh, what the? Hmm. What the? Okay. So, uh oh. I'm just trying to get a key, man. Yeah, I got it. Right, I'm picking those two. And the glasses. That did nothing. May have to get all the items. Uh, if it is all the items, I don't know. Oh, 
Ooh! Why is Molly's old toy here? What happened to her? Ever since Halloween night, nobody knows where she went. Some people assume that it was her who killed all her family, because she was probably possessed by an evil spirit. Spirit. I found all the objects. Woohoo! Okie dokie. Let's start reading. Wow, this is a weird room. After Molly lost control, she was chained to this bed at all times. It's easier for doctors to check her status. She was under control and had no privacy. She was only safe the only safe place for her was for her was her diary. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is that thing moving? It seems like Molly's diary. All the pages are filled with strange signs which are hard to recognize. What did she try to say? Or is she under control? She never allowed anyone to touch this notebook. She was hiding something. Two objects found, not by her. Except I don't know where any other objects are. I don't see anything blowing. Ooh! I think Molly's dry. Oh, we well, already done that. Wait a minute. Can I get these pumpkins? No? How about what's inside there? Oh yeah, I gotta be careful. That thing's moving around. I don't know. I can't seem to do anything about the pumpkin here. So maybe that's not it. Oh! Found all the objects. I thought I already got that one. You survived! Hoo-hoo! Well, not bad at all! Uh, I really did like that game. It could have been a little bit longer. Would have been nice. But yeah, so... I guess when you had the light off, you see the spots. The, uh... You know, the ritual circle. And if you touch that, then you get the game over. I didn't realize that until the very last, uh... Well, the second room, I kind of got the gist of it. Because I could see the circle. When I first went to step on it, game over. But it seems in that third one it moves around. Yeah, that was pretty tricky. And some of the items, I don't know, like you wouldn't exp like I didn't know you could go into that little closet to get that stuffed animal. The pumpkin didn't even seem like it would have been one, but it was. Not the second pumpkin, but the first one. Cause I think that was the pumpkin. But yeah, that was a good game. And uh, as always, you have yourselves a good one, and I will see you later.